Hello everyone and welcome to episode 27 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I'd like to start off this episode by saying congratulations to Damaris Hembry. Uh, she was our episode 26 winner and she's been hosting Link now uh, down in enrollment services for a few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned on Monday for the episode 27 question and your chance to host Link in your department. Um, next up, I just have one kind of major thing I'd like to talk about, uh, and that is uh, the shift in our go-live date. So as everybody heard last week, um, the decision was made to uh, shift our go-live date forward approximately 90 days. Um, and so on Wednesday this week, uh, Dick Hall, the project manager in Spokane, and I went to Bellevue to talk about the replan and uh, what activities still needed to be done and how long we think that's going to take and kind of give us a tentative uh, schedule. And so I want to talk a little bit about that tentative schedule and talk about some of the major activities that we have coming up. Um, and so I'll go here to this, uh, this Gantt chart that I created. Um, it's a very um, high level view of the schedule. And as you can see, um, October, um, we still have user acceptance testing going on. Uh, they've extended the, the, due, the end date on user acceptance testing, so that'll go through uh, probably mid-November, maybe a little bit later. Um, but the state uh, CTC Link project team, in, uh, they're uh, housed in Bellevue, uh, they're actually still moving forward as if uh, November 17th was our go-live date. And the reason for that is they, they really want to do a dry run implementation to kind of give us some practice and give us an opportunity to see how long an implementation, our go-live implementation, will actually take. Uh, and that'll help indicate how long, help us determine uh, how long we need to, to set aside for the actual go live implementation period. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons why this is a tentative schedule because there may be some things shifting depending on the, the outcome of the dry run. And so this dry run they're expecting to run the week of November 17th, um, which will be an implementation of the system. It'll give us an idea of how long the final conversion run will take, what kinds of activities that we'll be expected to run through during that. Uh, go live implementation, um, but I'm feeling really good about the fact that we do get to kind of practice that before we actually go through the, the, the actual go live process. And then after that, um, in December, beginning of December, a couple things will begin. One is a payroll, what they call a payroll parallel test, and also some payroll training in that period, and that's where some of our HR folks will be going up to Bellevue, as well as the Spokane HR folks, um, to kind of do a, dr a practice run of payroll. Uh, and, and what they'll be doing is they'll run through several iterations of payroll and then verifying the data compared to uh, legacy data and make sure that everything's coming through appropriately. And they'll spend a couple of weeks doing that work. Um, and, and at the same, at the beginning of December, at the same time, essentially, um, we will start our training activities. And, uh, and so that'll go through uh, February and, and we get an expansion of training, which is really nice. Uh, you know, we were condensed down to four weeks at our previous go live, and so this will give us uh, a double, about double that uh, amount of time for, for training, which, which will be necessary as we, as we prepare to use the new system. And then uh, in mid to late February, we'll be looking at our new go live date. And like I said, it's dependent on how uh, the dry run goes. We'll, need, we'll determine uh, how much time is actually needed for the go live period. Um, but uh, we'll be prepped and ready to go, hopefully. Uh, mid to late uh, February uh, for the new go live date and then we'll be launched in the new system and and uh, and leveraging PeopleSoft from from then on so um, so there's still a lot of activities there are still some kind of behind the scenes activities that the project team is working on uh, but these are kind of the high level uh, activities that uh, that college staff will be uh, involved in uh, for the implementation of, of PeopleSoft. And as we get more information, as we're able to uh, get closer to securing actual dates uh, for these activities, I'll be sure to communicate that out either in the video blog or through emails uh, and let folks know when those things are, are gonna be happening. And uh, that's all I had to kind of report right now, uh, but I would like to, to finish this video with a short clip that was recorded um, back in August. We had uh, some workshops we sent a bunch of uh, TCC staff and Spokane and a bunch of their staff up to Bellevue um, for some hands-on workshops for the week of August 25th and uh, they, we learned a lot it was a really good week um, but anyway we, we brought the video guys our media guys up for one of the days and they they shot some video of uh, various activities that were going on different people and I just wanted to share that with you um, to close off this episode and I'll see you next time